Hey everybody, I'm Lala and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I decorated my eggnog cake using my um, eggnog buttercream. So if you guys are new here, um, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my family, y'all. And if you have subscribed already, thank you so much for subscribing. But please remember to like and share as well. And... I hope you come back for more because I have a lot of recipes up my sleeves. Also, guys, I would like to hear from you. If you there's something that you would like me to make, please let me know, okay? Come on. Let's friend, let's talk. We're friends, right? All right, let's do this, okay? Let's get into this video. Okay, so here I'm using my turntable and I'm using an anti-slip mat to put under my cake plate and I'm just going to be adding a little bit of buttercream on there. That's what I'm going to use to glue my cake to the board, okay? I have to speed up this video, you guys, because it was way too long. It was like almost 45 minutes, so yeah. So here I have my cake layers. These are six inch rounds, and I had placed them in the freezer after I baked them and they were cooled and everything. So it's easier to decorate when they're frozen because less crumbs, okay? And this is kind of a crummy cake so yeah this prevented less crumbs for me so i'm just putting my bread cream in the center and then i'm just gonna spread it out and then i'm just gonna add my second layer give it a, a press down a little bit just to release those air bubbles that are trapped in between the icing and the second layer of cake all right then i'm gonna add some more ice into that second layer and then i'm gonna spread it out again and then add my third layer okay then I'm gonna do that press down thing again just to release that air bubble in between my layers, okay? All right, so I'm putting um, the, the final cake bottom side up because it's more flatter than the other side. And then I'm just gonna use a thin coat of icing um, to, to crumb coat my cake, okay? No matter if you don't have a very crummy cake, always crumb coat, guys, I mean, it's not gonna hurt you know just crumb coat your cake and um yeah trapping any crumbs that might be coming off so it's not uh, showing in your final final frosting okay so i'm just gonna smooth this out it doesn't have to be perfect nobody's perfect i'm not perfect yeah my daughter was already if you could see her little hands there she was already asking me for cake <laughs> while it was crumb coated so yeah, I'm just gonna use my offset spatula to just draw that ice and end to the center just to make my edges nice and neat. Okay, like I said, this part doesn't have to be perfect. The final one, I would say, make sure it's a little bit better. So I put it in my fridge and I let it chill until when I touch the ice and my, it doesn't come off of my finger. That means it's chilled enough. Now I'll be adding my second um, layer of frosting okay so I'm, I put a, a big dollop at the top and I'm spreading it out a little bit and the overhang is what I used to put on the sides okay yeah so I'm gonna be adding some more, more buttercream because um, that amount that I put before wasn't enough so I could still see the cake through so I added some more just to cover up those layers then I'm gonna be using my bench scraper to just scrape um, this off to, until it's smooth so if you find any like um, after you've done this and you find a little bit of uh, a gap in your eyes in anywhere you find a little gap just add some icing back in that place okay so when you go around again everything will be in unison and smooth no no dents and lumps and you know what i mean yeah so so wherever i see a little bit of gap i'm gonna be adding my buttercream there and then i'm just gonna go around with my bend scraper again to smooth that out Decorating a cake is a process, you guys. It's not just whim bam and you're done. No, if you want it to look good, then you know, but if you don't really care, then hey, it might take you five minutes. But 
for me sometimes it takes me hours it depends it it depends on um what type of cake i'm doing the level of cake the decorations that i have to put on there but i'm just gonna freestyle this one for you make it a christmas theme cake Okay, going around with my bend scraper again because I I want this final layer to be well it's not the final layer because I'll be adding um I'll be adding um fondant to this but the smoother your final layer of icing is the better it is for your fondant to lay because if you have dense and big gaps in your icing underneath when once you put your fondant on there it will um, the fondant will basically adapt to whatever is under there. So if it's nice and smooth underneath, then your fondant will be nice and smooth. I was happy with what I did here. Um, my top is not perfect. I'm really, I really suck at doing the top. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. But I'm, I'm better at doing the sides than the top. But I did my best there. And um, yeah. So after I was um, happy with it, I'm going to put it back in the fridge to chill and firm up okay I was just checking to make sure there's no dents and we're good to go in the fridge it goes all right so now my fondant um, not my fondant my cake has been chilled I'm just gonna roll out some um, white fondant this is my homemade marshmallow fondant I'll link a video well not link a video because my camera wasn't working so I didn't get to record this one but um I'll make fondant for you guys later and show you how I make mine okay so I'm just rolling it out um, not too too thin but I like my fondant a little bit on the thinner side and then yeah I'm just gonna roll it over my my rolling pin and then I'm just gonna add it to my cake all right so i'm gonna smooth the top out a little bit first just to get those air bubbles that was trapped up up at the top there and then i'm gonna smooth my hands down the side pulling it out pulling the fondant out if you feel like your fondant is weighing down after you've pulled it out and it's had air to the cake just cut it off because it's gonna weigh down your fondant and you don't want your fondant to rip okay so i'm basically just pulling my fondant out like a skirt like I'm flaring it and then I'm uh, trying to attach the the top to the cake and working my way down so just keep pulling out and um, and yeah if you were like me when I when I started out um, at the back would be the gather where <laughs> I didn't know how to pull it out and and uh, had ear it to the cake I used to just have that big lump at the back <laughs> so that would definitely be the back of my cake but now I'm better so yes I'm proud of myself <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna go around to smooth it out just to get release any of those air bubbles um, in there if you do have air bubbles just use a, a pin and just um, poke it not directly in the middle like an eye just um, poke it to the side like you know on a slant and then um yeah just rub it so the air bubble gets released okay all right so now i'm just gonna clean up my board so i have a little bit of water with a brush and i'm just gonna um yeah basically clean up my board from all that ice and that dry dried up Looking on the video right now, I could actually see some, um, I could still see um, some air bubbles, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to color my, a, a little piece of fondant to the color of my, my, um, my cutting mat. But yeah, I didn't actually go that way, but it was fine. It was fine. You know, I guess I would have to use something like more of like a moss green to get that color and then I'm going to color my red fondant 
my red my white fondant into red this one is a process y'all oh my god i don't know either i do this in advance but trying to do this to use it the same day it's, it's a pain i'm not gonna lie make trying to make red fondant and black fondant oh my gosh it's a pain okay anyways i'm trying to make it the color of my mat which it, it it i mean it didn't happen that way but hey i used it still and it and i mean it was a darker than i wanted it to be so there i added a little bit of black to get it a little bit darker but it went to more of like a maybe like a a uh i would say a wine red than what my color matte was so it was too dark so i added more red oh lord and then after adding the food coloring it got sticky so i had to add more powdered sugar yeah so i was like you know yeah this red is good but I wanted it a little bit lighter so I added a, a bit of white fondant just to just to basically um, lighten that color up a bit yeah all right and that's done all right so now I'm just gonna be rolling these out I'm using actually my piping tips for this part I'm using three different sizes of piping tips so I'm just gonna be cutting circles out yeah I'm just gonna be cutting um, different types of not different types different sizes of circles but I'm gonna be cutting like seven circles of each size okay so this is my largest and this is my Russian piping tip I'm using here okay so I'm cutting seven pieces of that and then for my middle size I'm cutting seven pieces for that too and for my smallest then I'll be cutting seven for that okay I actually ended up using all of these colors I didn't know if I would but yeah all right so I just wrap my scraps back into the saran wrap so it doesn't dry out and basically I'm just gonna repeat the same process with my red fondant Yeah, it looks uh, the that's why I wanted my fondant to be a little bit lighter because it looks a little bit more brown and it just got stuck. So I had to redo it and everything. You could use cornstarch or powdered sugar. I usually use cornstarch, but for some reason it was still sticking. So I said, you know what? At least the, the if I use the powdered sugar, it just absorb into the fondant so it won't stick. It, I mean it will won't be as sticky you know so yeah I'm just basically cutting out seven of the largest of my red and I'll just repeat the same process like I did for the green okay and then I'm getting my cake out of the fridge and I have some water with a little um, paint brush that I'm just gonna wet um, the back of my thing um, I used way too much water on some some of them um, but yeah just make sure it's damped I didn't have to dip it in the water all the time but I did for some reason I don't know why Oh, I'm so out of touch with my cake, my cake self. 
but anyways only one of my 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 fondant rounds actually um, slid from the top down which was that one actually that red one that I just put on there but yeah it was fine I, I, I used my paintbrush and my water and wiped it off and it was okay so I'm just placing these randomly around you starting with my largest piece and then I'll fill in the the other spots with um, the smaller pieces This is so easy, you guys. Any beginner can do this. Um, I mean, for for fondant work, it's been challenging. At least for me, when I just started out, I really totally, oh my gosh, I totally suck at it. But I got better with practice. I Anytime people ask me, oh, did you go to any cake classes or schools? I'm like, actually, I graduated from the University of YouTube I watch a lot of youtubers and a lot of YouTube videos oh my gosh I watch like probably like 30 videos of cake decorating a day I, I was obsessed until I started doing it for myself and I got better over time yeah I was kind of worried how this cake was going to turn out because I've never really made anything like this before but you know sometimes you just have to be creative and just go with what whatever is in your mind and you'll be surprised with how it turns out you can't be afraid of it okay Even though my red was a little bit darker than I wanted, um, I think it did turn out pretty well. It turned out pretty cute, actually. To me. I want you guys to let me know what you think, okay? See, I, I was using the water and the brush just to get rid of that red that was sliding down the cake. And yeah, it wasn't visible after that, so... If you have that problem where you put in a colored fondant on like a white background or whatever, if you're using back, um, black fondant as a, the base color, you're okay. But using a different color on white is more challenging, especially, um, you know, you have to watch your fingers, make sure the food coloring from the colored fondant is not getting onto your white cake. Because trust me, you'll look ugly. I've been there. <laughs> I'm just telling you guys things that have actually that actually happened to me. Okay. So I'm just placing them randomly. Trying to connect the dots a bit to give it a different look. Yeah. By the way, you guys, at the end of this, um, my camera went out on me and I thought I was still recording, but it didn't capture me finishing up the bow. I'm going to be putting a bow on the top of this, but it didn't capture um, me putting the bow on the cake or anything like that. So disappointed. I'm so sorry about that. But you'll see the finishing touch and you will see exactly what I did there we go for that and then I'm gonna pop this back in the fridge in the meantime I'll make my bow you'll be able to see that I, I actually did the whole bow but just the dots on the bows and uh, the ribbon that goes with the bow you won't be able to see that part sorry about that I really thought it was recording but after it was too late it didn't um, after it was too late I couldn't redo it because I didn't have any more fondant left after this piece so okay so basically I just cut a, a thick strip 
um, of um, fondant and then I'm just gonna add some water to the center of it and then I'm gonna fold the two ends in and then I'm gonna pinch it in to form that bow okay my bow will be standing up so I kind of want it to be thick and not thin on the thicker side so I'm basically um, I'm gonna cut out like a, another log like another um, rectangle shape um, to go over my bow okay so I'm gonna be adding some water to that strip and then I'm gonna flip it over and then add the bow add the strip to the bow and just pinch that together to make it look like a kind of like fabricy if you know what I mean fabricy yeah that's a new word okay and then I'm gonna just um, put my finger in between there and um, to like let it you know create a pocket in between there I actually did put some um, paper towel in there but I mean it didn't too really matter because I wasn't letting it dry fully I I just put it on the cake just like that standing up so anyways you guys see I was cutting out the circles but this is what it looks like after I was done I would basically just put some dots on the ribbon just to go with the theme of the cake and look at that and my little ribbon right there hanging off the cake so yeah that's a very quick and easy Christmas um, Christmas type cake you guys so I hope you enjoy this and um, if you want to try this out trust me it's easy all you have to do is cut some circles it's it's no breeze okay so anyways you guys thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this video please remember to like share and subscribe I'll see you in the next one